Hello, my beautiful Tauruses. It's Tasha, a.k.a. Mama Jim, a.k.a. Jim the Butterfly. And this is your general April 2016 monthly horoscope. I'm sorry, tarot scope. Um, I am Tasha, a.k.a. Mama Jim. And this is for Taurus, sun, moon, and rising. If you don't know your rising sign or your moon sign, you have to have your date of birth and you have to have your place of birth. Go online, Google it, birth chart calculator, and look it up. Because, you know, with these readings, these are general readings. Some of it, all of it, none of it may apply. You know, if it doesn't apply, I would highly suggest for you to go and check out your rising sign. Check out your moon sign. Just to see, you know, which one resonates more with you. Um, if it doesn't resonate with you, that's okay, too. That just means that at this point, I, I'm not the reader that has the message for you this month. That's all that means. You know, I, I only want, um, I only want negative, negativity. I only want positive, positivity on my page, which means that, you know, if I, if, if I don't resonate with you, then that's fine. That doesn't mean that I'm a, a bad reader or, you know, it just means that I don't resonate with you. Please refrain from putting negative comments on my page. Um, if you have any questions or you would like to delve deeper into uh, what I say, if something does resonate with you, you can feel free to hit me up. My information is on um, in the description box. Thank you for all of those who have purchased personal readings from me. And there was something else that I was going to say, y'all. Oh, yes. What I have a donate button that I've had on my site for about two months. And... I've been reminded by someone that you need to say that on your videos that you have a donate button. So y'all, I have a donate button. If you would like to donate to my channel, um, if you like what I do and you want to keep me going, please donate. I would highly appreciate it. Um, that can go towards cost of supplies and things that I need to, um, to bring you guys these readings and I do enjoy it. or it just could be a, a thing of maybe you don't want a personal reading but you just appreciate what I put out for you and it resonated and you want to drop me five dollars now you know any amount is is appreciative I'm, I'm not picky by far so it's just um excuse me just wanted to put that out there I forgot all about I had it up on my site for like two months and I forgot all about it Somebody was like, you need to tell people that you have a donate button. So I just did. All right, y'all. So what we're going to do is oops, have a card for general, a card for advice. We're doing three cards for love, three cards for career, three cards for health, and three cards for finances, all right, for my Tauruses. All right, Taurus, general energy for April. Ooh, we have the 10 of swords. So general energy for Taurus, fuck it. I'm done. I'm over it. It's done. I'm over it. Okay. I give up. And the thing about this is I don't want y'all to look at this like, oh my God, this is awful. No, the 10 with the 10 of swords also represents a one. OK, you have reached your last damn straw. OK, and what this is telling me is on a positive note, it's time for a new beginning. You're done. OK, stick a fork in me. I'm done. So 
where when when we get to this part of this time in our lives when the ten of swords comes up the ten of swords prompts change because you can't take it any longer you know it it's only up from here okay so don't let's not get too caught up in that like oh god tasha what does this mean what i feel like this is saying is that this is the things have been coming to a culmination for you for a while um and so when you're coming to april when you're coming into April, you, it, it's one of two things. Either one, the last fork is going to be placed in there, or two, the fork has already been placed and you're about to get up and rise to the occasion in April. So let's just see which way it can really, I feel kind of half and half for some of you. Some of you is, is going, it could be a trying month, but it's going to be a month that challenges you to get up or Two, you've already been challenged and now it's time. You know, you're going to use this feeling of hitting rock bottom to push you forward. Okay. Stay positive guys. Don't, don't, don't give up on me just yet. Okay. Love. Ooh, the 10 of cups. Eight of swords. And the King of Pentacles. Um, I'm feeling like for for my my Tauruses that are in long term relationships, my Tauruses who are married. I feel like this is a time period within your relationship where appreciation. I'm not even gonna say even I'm not even gonna say Mary. I'm I'm gonna apply this across the board. Married, single, if you're just in a relationship, um, long term or just new. What I'm feeling is that you, there's a strong need for appreciation for the love that you have in your life. You have a lot of love in your life, Taurus. You are surrounded by people who love you, okay? Um, but the thing about it is, I don't feel like a lot of you see it. A lot of you don't recognize it. Um, and I feel like with the King of Pentacles, it could even be a father figure coming in, or it could be, this could be your spouse, male or female earth, earth energy. It could just be you as well, that you have to look at this from a very practical point of view. You're, you're understanding that, you know what, not all the time is going to be perfect. Not all the time, you know, you're not going to always get to have what you want, but it's going to be worth it in the end, nonetheless. So um, definitely a, develop a stronger sense of appreciation for what you have and where you are right now. Cause I feel like for some of my Tauruses, things seem pretty bleak for you, but they only seem bleak to you because you don't want to take off the blindfold. Count your blessings. Okay. If you may not have everything that you want at this time, but you have to be appreciative for all the things that you do have and you are surrounded by love. Okay. Um, you're surrounded by people who care about you and you're surrounded. You, you have light that is surrounding you. You have happiness and contentment surrounding you, but for whatever reason, you're not really wanting to see it. And I feel like for some of you, you're not wanting to see it because it doesn't give you anything to complain about. And I know that that's not me saying that that's, that's what spirit is telling me to tell y'all. Like some of y'all is there, but you don't want to see it because you've been, you got up in, you got so used to complaining about stuff or feeling that you, you don't have something. So you're so used to it. But when things start to turn around for you, you don't want to give it, you don't want to give it acknowledgement because it takes you from that train of thought that you're so used to having. Okay. Um, and so that's why the King of Pentacles is coming in. The King of Pentacles is you. Okay. Um, looking at it from that perspective, it is you making sense of that. All right. Um, if it's not you, I do feel like it could very possibly be a partner 
or a family member, somebody coming in to just show you, like, look at what you have. You have this, that, and the third, you know? You have all of this, but you just don't see it, okay? So definitely wake up in the morning. Wake up with the the mindset of gratitude. I'm appreciative. I'm grateful for the day. I am, um, I am full of love. I exude love. I radiate love. I give love. Love is given to me. You, you have to believe that if you want it to come to you. Okay. And what I feel like with the 10 of swords is telling you the time for all that negative stuff, it's done. You see, you see the detrimental effects of how that those negative thoughts, how it plays into your life and how it manifests into your life going into career oops because i know i don't read reverses ten of pentacles six of cups king of cups Ooh. beautiful 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 for a career um i feel like a lot of you are are um in the mindset of establishing establishing stability within a, a particular career or a particular job, um, I feel like some of you you can expect to have a little bit of extra money coming in, money, um, maybe even a promotion for some of you, and I, I feel like for a lot of you, it's especially for those who have been at a particular place for a long time that's what i see with the six of cups like you grew up you, you moved from a six to a, a king like you may have started here when you were a young child but you have or a young younger person but you have grown through through the years and you've been here and you've matured so i feel like for some of you may be expecting a promotion if you're expecting a promotion you have a very strong chance of getting it people do see you as a kind leader you, you have that fatherly, motherly, um, compassionate, logical leadership qualities that people like in managers and bosses and whatever. So, you know, hierarchy. So, um, and you, you've worked your way up. So if you're expecting a, a promotion, very strong chance that you would get it. Um, some of you... Some of you may even be, um, for my singles, which is weird for my singles, some of you may be encountering, maybe meeting someone on your job that you could actually see your future with. Like there, I feel like you could meet your soulmate at your job this month, um, which is cute. So, <laughs> um, I, I'm so tied to the six of cups and the king of cups. You guys may actually meet someone, male or female, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, that um you really enjoy spending time with. You may have just met them through work, but I, you know, I feel like money is is increasing or will be increasing. If it's not an actual promotion, maybe it's a raise. OK, or and I also feel like for some of you, maybe maybe receiving recognition for the time that you spent at a particular job. OK, finances. Again, Queen of Pentacles. Sorry, Page of Wands. Ooh, finances are pretty good, guys. Like I told you with career, I feel like it could be tied to career um, for those expecting money or those receiving money i feel like you're going to be putting it to good use some of you are going to be using it to put forth in creative creative endeavors um for some of you i feel like you've been wanting to do some type of hobby or um side gig or you needed like some startup cost for a, a, a business that you want to do and you're going to get the money to do so. And you're going to be very successful with it because you have the six of wands. You're going to put it in the right place. So there's some place that you want to put your money. You've been just like waiting for the money or waiting for the right time. I feel like April will be a good time. Now, what I do know is 
Mercury is, and I tell you guys, I'm not an astrologer. Okay. I'm not an astrologer, but one thing I do know is that I believe Mercury is coming into retrograde um, in April. And let me just double check that real quick. So, and it, it sparked my mind just now to tell you that. So if there's something that you're trying to do, especially when it comes to... Um, Money contracts, you may want to hold off. Mercury in retrograde. Oh, and it is in the sign of Taurus. Mercury in retrograde is going April 28th through May 22nd. So let me say this. If you're thinking about signing some type of contract, which I don't feel like for a lot of you that you are actually going to get into the nitty bitty, the nitty gritty of signing contracts. But if you should, cause you have the page of wands, I feel like you're a lot of you going to be hearing about a good month, a good opportunity of a good, um, yeah, opportunity to place your money. You may be thinking about it and feel like it could be successful. That's cool too. Um, but remember that Mercury has like a shadow period. So if you're going to be, if you do have to sign something, some type of long-term contract, I would say definitely you want to do it before the 28th, but Mercury has a shadow period about two weeks ahead of time. So you want to do it before the 14th. Okay. So within that first week and a half of April is when you want to do it. Anytime in between then, I would kind of be a little, not leery, but I would try to hold off for a while. Um, but I just feel like this is in the preliminary stages. I feel like you're going to just be coming up with ideas. Okay. Um, of what to do with this money or this idea that you have. All right. When it comes to health, excuse me, y'all, I'm full of stuff and allergies. Nine of wands, three of cups. Ace of Wands. What I feel for health is that for a lot of you, <clears throat> for some of you, not a lot of you, take that back. For some of you, some of you going to be trying to give up drinking, which is good. You know, that's what something that you see is something that is not, um, if it's something that's keeping you back from achieving your goals, hey. That's a beautiful thing, too. Um, I feel very strongly with drinking, y'all, with this three of cups here. I feel like some of you are going to be like, you know what? I'm going to try this thing one more time. <laughs> and um, you, you've been inspired, okay? You've been inspired. And it could be what this Ten of Swords is talking about as well is that, you know, Again, you realizing that certain things just don't fit in your life anymore and it's time to move forward and let some things go. Um, and really being serious this time, and not saying that you weren't serious last time, but I feel like my the mindset has changed. Something changed in between March. Nope. Nope, not March. February. February up until now. Something about your mindset has changed where you are looking more so on a optimistic point of view. If you have been the person who usually, who typically looks at the glass half full, you're looking at it, I mean, I'm sorry, half empty, you're looking at it more um, from a half full perspective. You're looking at life from a more abundant perspective, okay? Same thing, like I said, with, with the love. It's time to start appreciating who and what you have around you because it's not as bad as what you think. OK, you have a lot of positive cards in your reading. And it's interesting that the two cards, the, the only cards that I would consider uh, so-called, I don't even like to say negative, but not as positive is the eight of swords and the ten of swords. And it's, again, it's tied to what you're thinking. It's not actually tied to what's actually going on. So you have to stay uh, 
keep that positive mindset. I keep looking at this with this six of wands. It's like, yeah, I know this is going to work. It's going to do right. You know, I know I'm going to be successful. I know I'm going to be victorious. Okay. You know, you know, it's going to be good. And you have to keep that mindset. And a part of that mindset is knowing with the 10 of swords is that, you know, it can't get any worse than this right here. Okay. So going back to what I said earlier, I feel like a lot of you, um, I said it could be a half and half. I feel like it's more so majority of you have, the storm has passed, put it like that. The storm has passed. Okay. You know, I grew up in, for those who grew up in an area where there are um, in the United States where there are hurricanes, you understand what I'm talking about. It's like you have the first part of the hurricane, then you have the piece of the eye of the storm, then you have the last part of the hurricane. And then after the hurricane goes away, then everybody can come on outside and assess the, jam assess the damage and then you can rebuild from there. And so that's what I feel. It's like, you know, the worst of it is gone now. Uh, for some of you, maybe lagging behind just a little bit. You may have a little bit of um stagnation um, coming up behind you still have some things to tackle but for the most part it's over with so now it's time to get up throw away what is damaged and take take an assessment of what you have left and build forward because you are you have energy coming in to allow you to build forward okay and to build onward and to go onward so for advice the emperor yes get some order into your life get some structure into your life understanding like move as you moving into this next phase of your life Taurus um blame don't place blame on people don't place blame on situations understand that you were placed in certain situations um because I feel like for you some of you you've come out of hard like you've been stressed this comes up as the past for me you've been really really stressed and and hurt about some things and um but you survived and so what what i feel what the emperor is telling you is to keep that in perspective that yeah you were hurt yeah you were tried yeah you had a lot of stuff going you know that you went through but at the end of the day you persevere at the end of the day you you came out on top and you have to remember that so don't try to slump into this because i feel like a lot of you are trying to slump back into this right here or you're not seeing the all the good that's around you okay so the emperor is going to be coming in like hey you i need you to get it together i need you to understand what you have right here in front of you i need you to see where you need to have that foresight to, to understand where you're trying to go. Now I do feel like a lot of you, a lot of you do have um <clears throat> you're you're understanding that you do have that foresight. You're starting to see in the future a little further than what you could before. I feel like some of you were so caught into the moment that you couldn't see what was coming up. And so you was a lot you were allowing what was happening to you at this present time to bring you down. So the emperor is telling you, you know what, it's time again to get up, to rebuild, reassess and take control back over your life because it's time now. It's just time. The, the storm is over. Um, you're ending the reading in the future position. You, you're, I mean, you have. You have. Um, you have pinnacles, you have cups, you have wands. You're very well-rounded. You you know, you're coming out to be more well-rounded by the end of the month. If you could just get, get control of your thoughts, boo. Just get control of your thoughts. Everything is coming in around you, but you have to know that it's, it's working for your own good. And so you don't want to be a detriment to your own self. You have to believe in yourself. You have to believe that things are coming in because you do have money coming in. You do have promotions coming in. You do have, um, for some of you, you have, you even have a love coming in, um, or at least a good friend. If it's not a uh, actual love relationship you have a good solid friend that's going to have to help you um could be this emperor person too aries leo sagittarius i feel more aries energy uh could be a father 
there's a lot of father energies coming up in these readings this um this time but that's good too you know there's a lot of males in this uh reading and that's okay you know i'm just noticing but regardless you are on the right track my booze just stay positive um career is going to work out money's working out health you got this new and you this new drive to get rid of um alcohol drinking overindulgent if it's not alcohol it's overindulgence it's um Yeah, you something is different this time. Like I said before, even if it is partying, you going out, staying out late nights or something like that. I, I feel like that too for some of you. It's telling you like, no, you need to set yourself. You need to get on a schedule. Keep yourself on a schedule. You need to um, really put all your heart and soul into this thing. And it's going to be okay. You have the will of fortune. Like I said, you know, I feel like if you, even if you tried before, and I, I do feel like it's alcohol very strongly, you know, I'm, I'm, I just have to go with what I'm feeling. That's the only thing that I'm feeling right now. And if, if it's not alcohol, it is an overindulgence of something. It could even be eating, y'all. It could be eating too. Like for those who like to go out and eat all the time, like to eat, have to eat out with your friends and stuff like that. Um, if you're trying to change your diet, this is a good month to do so as well. So just keep that in mind. Everything is, the tides are turning. I feel it. I feel it very strong. We have this Wheel of Fortune card that's coming in to help you. Um, and even as your health as a base, it's like, oh, also foods that you're putting into your, your body, greens, is what I see with this nine of wands. Like for those who have been struggling to incorporate more um, natural foods or yeah, more natural foods into their lives and you feel like you've been trying and you keep falling back by the wayside, try it again. Keep doing it because it's the universe is going to help you. And I feel like the universe is placing someone in your um, in your life to assist you along with that process. OK, um, <clears throat> also for health, I do want to say, too, that you want to make sure that you get outside, get some sun um, and drink water. I see that all the time with the cup, the three of cups. It's, it's time to, to get yourself hydrated as well. Um, so if that means anything to someone, I hope it does. Let me know if you want a personal reading, hit me up. My name is Tasha, a.k.a. Mama Jim. All my information is in the description box. Y'all, thank you so much. Bye-bye.